This could change everything. The Filoniverse may explore the story that was first told in the Thrawn trilogy, a set of books written by Timothy Zahn. This would not only give us great Star Wars content, but would also completely save the sequel trilogy and set the Star Wars universe back on track by telling the backstory that the sequels never could. And in today's video, we will be going over this theory and how it could literally change everything. But before we get started, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars content. Now, let's get into today's video. With roughly 30 years between the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy, there is a lot of time to fill. And with the Filoniverse about to be in full swing, there is a huge possibility that we are going to see some more amazing content like we have already gotten in The Mandalorian. Oh, it's just so good. And there is no other story that fits better into this time period than the Thrawn trilogy. Now tell me, where is your master? Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? In Legends, the trilogy starts around the year 9 ABY, about 9 years after the Battle of Yavin, the same year that The Mandalorian takes place. Now, I can't think that that is just a coincidence. Not to mention that Dave Filoni is a big fan of Thrawn, as he has talked about his love for this trilogy in the past, saying that when it came out, that it blew his mind, and that it was awesome to think that there was more Star Wars out there after Episode 6. I mean, that explains why he put Thrawn in Rebels and is now bringing him back for the Ahsoka show. Now, with the Filoniverse comprising of four main shows, namely The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, Rangers of the New Republic, and The Book of Boba Fett, and all of them interconnecting one with another, it gives Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni a very unique way to tell the story that has never been done in the Star Wars universe. Kind of like how the Marvel Cinematic Universe was, each individual movie was its own story, but they were all interconnected. Except in this universe, Thrawn or Sidious might possibly be the big bad guy that's looming over everything instead of, you know, how Thanos was for the MCU. Now, there are several indicators within the story already that could possibly already be setting up the Thrawn trilogy to make its grand appearance in these four shows. Now, the Thrawn trilogy deals with a lot of things, and the story is amazing, and it can fully be explored within the Filoniverse. For example, the Thrawn trilogy deals with the Grand Admiral building up an army and then coming in and attacking the newly formed Republic. And obviously, that sounds like something that the show Rangers of the New Republic could deal with. I mean, imagine that they are going through the Outer Rim, or maybe even exploring the unknown regions, and come across this massive, resurrected, and rebuilt 7th Fleet. I mean, this show could turn into a full-on, you know, all-out war show, and it would be awesome to see, kind of like how Rogue One was. Now, obviously, Thrawn already has a power base. We saw this in Season 2, Episode 5 of The Mandalorian, when Ahsoka was trying to liberate that town from Thrawn's forces. I mean, the droids had the 7th Fleet insignia on them. Not to mention that the Magistrate literally worked for Thrawn, so... Another thing that it deals with is an organization called the Smugglers Alliance that is trying to form an uneasy relationship with the New Republic. I mean, think about it. The Republic fell, and then the Empire fell, and as we've seen in The Mandalorian, the galaxy is kind of this lawless place right now that really doesn't have a government. And the Thrawn trilogy deals with how they will have this uneasy relationship or uneasy alliance with the New Republic. Now, obviously, this just screams Book of Boba Fett. I mean, Boba Fett is now the new crime lord in Tatooine, and I'm sure that he is eager to get started, and so he could possibly begin the formation of the Smuggler's Alliance, or just take it over if it's already been formed. And we'll be seeing all of that in the Book of Boba Fett, possibly. Not to mention that in the Thrawn series, Luke is the one responsible for negotiating a treaty between the Smuggler's Guild and the New Republic, so who knows? we may see Luke again in the Book of Boba Fett. I feel like Luke could honestly appear in every single one of these shows and kind of be the character that, you know, bridges them all together. And again, Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, they're big fans of Luke Skywalker, so I can see them doing that as well. Also, the Thrawn trilogy deals with a fallen Jedi named Joris Sabath. Now, Joris was, he's actually really 
freaking cool. And we could possibly see that character appear in the Filoniverse in one way or another. The first way it could go is following the original storyline, in that he is in fact just a fallen Jedi. Now this would be interesting because perhaps he is the one who is trying to get Grogu's blood so he can create his clone, and you know, maybe that's what's in the back to tank. This way he would be able to use this clone to again help Thrawn and defeat Luke and all this stuff. But another way that it would go, and the way that I personally think it will go, will differ somewhat from the original story, and it is something different, but it still follows the story in a way. And that could be that Ezra Bridger could take on the role of the Dark Jedi, meaning that Ezra could have fallen to the dark side and is now helping Thrawn attack the New Republic. Now, this would be awesome to see, especially because it would open the door for Luke to make another appearance, and also maybe see Mara Jade. Now, I need to make a full video about this particular theory and really go in depth, but I'll do that later on in a different video. Also in the Thrawn trilogy, Joris is obsessed with finding and training Leia's kids in the ways of the Force. So, I mean, I guess we could see a very young Ben Solo, or what would make more sense is that the object or person of his obsession will actually be Grogu. And it will be Luke and Ahsoka trying to protect Grogu from this insane dark Jedi. Anyway, whatever they do, it's going to be awesome to see. And we could see all of this unfold in the Filoniverse, in the Ahsoka show, Rangers of the New Republic, Book of Boba Fett, all of it. So, boom. All three shows will deal with a different aspect of this trilogy and will all interweave one with another. And then the Mandalorian could just wrap up the shows and also, you know, tell the story of what is going on with the characters that we already know and love. The Thrawn trilogy is an amazing story. And honestly, I know that Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau are big fans of it, and I can see them incorporating elements of that story within this Filoniverse. It would bridge the gap between the sequels and originals, and also set up the saga for something amazing, which would then get into the Legacy of the Force series, and it would deal with the beginnings of Palpatine coming back, and, you know, all of that. I mean, the Thrawn trilogy just seems to fit within the timeline. Not to mention that it would allow Luke to meet Mar Jade, a character that I personally would have loved to see in the sequel trilogy, and it would lead into some incredibly tough decisions and you know, really dark times for Luke Skywalker that might explain why Luke was the way he was in The Last Jedi. You know, perhaps there is some backstory that we don't know about yet. Maybe Ben Solo turning to the dark side and slaughtering his students wasn't, you know, the only thing that drove him into exile, but it was like the final straw that drove him into exile. Gosh, I just hope that this happens. I hope that the Filoniverse is everything that we, you know, anticipate and hope that it is, and that it will be a great story that will really help ease the tension and kind of make the sequels better anyway that's it for today's video let me know in the comments what you guys think also again if you haven't already be sure to like the video and subscribe for more star wars content and remember to forever be a star wars fan